hey, 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 welcome to another video. I'm very excited about this one. It has been the works for about six months now. I had other videos to upload first. Nonetheless, now, without further ado, we're going to go and build the ultimate YouTube stand. A all-in-one solution for creators that live stream, that want to make talking head videos. This is perfect for you. If you learn anything at all in this video, I would appreciate a thumbs up or a thumbs down. At least I know how you feel about this kind of videos. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe as well to watch more content like this. Now, without further ado, three, two, one, let's do this. All right, so first piece of the puzzle, obviously, is the stand. You see how compact it is when it's closed and how tall it is when it's open. It reaches up to a bit more than two meters, which is perfect for a, any situation. This is just a stand that I picked up on Amazon. You can pick any stand on Amazon as long as they are heavy duty. Make sure that they are heavy duty, just because you will be putting on a bit of weight and expensive stuff from time to time. So you wanna make sure that the stand actually can support the weight. Second piece of the puzzle is the Amaran 60XS. 65 watt small cob light. I do have a full on video. I will link it up in one of the corners. Um, it's a really, really good light. The only thing that you really need to know that is a really, really good cop light. It's tiny, but at the same time, it's powerful enough for most shoots in small rooms. Obviously, you know, if you have a huge room, it may not be enough. You may be looking at 150 watts light. Um, it will still work with the stand, just, yeah. Um, it will cost you a bit more. I paired it with a 45 by 45 aperture box, which has a bow mount. It just snaps in place. You have a completely wireless slide that you can put on top of your stand. Also, of course, you can connect the light via DC power. Because obviously, if you have more of a set stand, you don't want to use the batteries just because they may give you maybe two, three, maybe four hours of light. And after that, you know, you got to have more batteries. So if you are sitting at the desk or you have the same corner where you record from, just use DC power. Next piece of the plaza is a magic clamp. If you don't know what a magic clamp is, you're really missing out. A magic clamp is basically a clamp that you can put anywhere. You can put it on poles that are circles, square, even you can put it on desks as well. It will work with an extension. There's literally snaps inside. So because of this button, it doesn't go anywhere. If you even want to be more secure, you got this piece that you turn around until it's you know sturdy enough so this is not going anywhere and the last two pieces of the puzzle would be the insert and the ball head why a ball head because for the simple reason that you want to be able to move your camera sides backwards and this particular one from Small Rig as a quick release, which brings me to the next part, quick release method. What it means is basically it takes a few seconds to take the camera off and maybe you wanna swap it with your iPhone because iPhone these days, they're really, really good to make videos as well. Or you know, maybe you're finished for the day and you just wanna put your camera away, you put the cap and then you put it away or for example you want to put the stuff in the car and put it somewhere you don't want to leave the camera 
and the light <laughs> attached to the stand. So you take them out and it's just easier, you know, to take them out all together. All right, guys, so who is this for? Well, anyone who wants to create content, whether it's a live stream, whether it's a talking head video, or if we want to use it to make tutorials, is that versatile, then no matter where you are, you can produce great content. Now, if you like this video, I'm sure you would like one of the videos around here. Until next time, Guru Mates.